Okay, here we have an iPod video, 30 gigabytes, fifth generation. Let's uh, let's open him up and have a look inside. <laughs> All right, so this isn't recommended. <laughs> There's nylon tools that you can get that do a better job. It is very easy to damage an iPod when using a standard bread and butter knife, and I highly recommend to not start at the screen or to stay away from the screen region altogether. Basically you've just got to find a corner and um, wedge it in little bit by bit. Always stay away from the screen because it will crack. I'll just try and open him up here. Make sure the, uh, the blunt object doesn't protrude too far into the actual device. And you've just got to take your time. If it goes too far in, you'll damage the unit. Okay, we're making a bit of progress here. There we go. It's just a matter of doing it bit by bit. Okay, that's a good noise. That's the kind of noise we want. Okay, you can see there's different um, locking clips, probably about one, two, three, four on each side. So we've managed to get that. Now if we just lift it, okay. You'll notice straight away that there is some cables that will restrict you from opening the metal case and completely removing it. So what we want to do is we want to locate this cable here and there's a little plug down here. We need to carefully remove that. So let's just have a look. Okay, we've removed that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Here we've got the uh, lithium ion battery. Have a bit of a look at him. Tucked away. And our four, uh, 30 gig hard drive. So you notice it's sitting in here. Okay, have a look. Get that 30 gig hard drive. Okay, this is the inside. Um, basically, you've got your hard drive, your battery, the back of your screen, and the brain that operates the whole thing. Let's see if we can have a bit more of a look in here. Take this out of the way. Okay. There's your hard drive. Just a plug straight in. Put him aside. And um, that's about it. 